Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back out oh, to Stillwater Creek. I wasn't part of the title. All right, we're back in school. I don't know why we let the idiot Jennifer stay at our place. Our main character's making some bad decisions. So, uh, your ex girlfriend's come crawling back, eh? Imagine that. She's not crawling back. We're only friends just now. Look, the ghost of Jack has got some sense, Paul. Me. Bullshit, and you know it. But can you really trust her? I mean, she's broken your heart before. Who's to say she's not going to run away with some other guy again? This is completely irrelevant. Neither of us decided what we think. Hmm. That's what you think. Jack's trying to look out for me. What the hell is that supposed to mean? People can change. Maybe she's not a giant whore anymore. Tell me what you're talking about, Jack. Tell me. Jack's the younger, but he's a hell of a lot smarter than our main character right now. Another dream? What? Well, I didn't think the dream coming later rather than earlier was going to last. But still, it would be nice if this shit stopped altogether. Mind you, thinking that I'd get over Jack not even a week after the event and before the funeral, that was wishful thinking. <sighs> anyway, I better get back to sleep. Need to be well rested for the funeral. Are their parents going to want me at the funeral? Man, I can't believe that such a small number of people showed up to this. I mean, all the kids from class are here, along with Allison and two adults who must be Jack's parents. But other than that... Thank goodness I decided to invite Jennifer along. How is that? Yeah, because every parent is like, Oh, I want an emotional whore to come to my son's funeral. I mean, every little bit helps, right? Are you alright? Uh-huh. You just look kind of out of it, that's all. No, no, I'm fine, just... I was just thinking. Yeah, not many people turned up in the end, did they? Oh, I bet a lot of people turned up in your end. Your buttocks. Uh, but no, not a lot of people showed up. After a few moments of silence, Jennifer begin begins sobbing. Hey, hey, no need to cry. Sorry, but you know me. Yeah, yeah, that I do. She's always been the type to become upset easily for as long as I've known her. In fact, how long have I known her? Uh, shit, I can't even remember. Seems like she's always been there, you know? After a few months, uh, after a few months apart, we're now together again. Well, okay, we're not strictly speaking together, but we've been spending a lot of time together. <sighs> I just want to facepalm so hard right now. Because our main character is like, we're spending a lot of time together. You do remember, she cheated on you. Then she came to your house to talk about her other boyfriend. The one she cheated on you with. Before I know it, the ceremony is finished and everyone is headed back into the church. Come on, Paul, hurry up. Coming. Guess I was too busy daydreaming to notice. Uh, either way, I followed Jennifer back inside to where everyone is. Okay, everybody, time to pack up. I assume this is not back at the church. This is back at school. The day after the funeral, and I'm still lacking sleep from all these nightmares. As a result, Hannah was bugging me a lot during lunch today. Obviously, I didn't really talk because Emma and Jess were there, but even still. I know Hannah means good, but it can get tiresome. It's just that I realized everyone has left except Hannah, who is standing at my desk. Hi, Hannah. Can I, can, can I help you? Uh, listen, I know I'm probably being really annoying about this, but... Are you sh sure you're absolutely okay? I mean, if you are, that's fine, but... Y you don't believe me? It's not like that. I'm just worried about you and want to help. Okay, me. If I was going to look at this objectively, I would realize I was with Jennifer for six years. She could only think about herself. She could not see how I was doing. All she thinks about herself. And here, Hannah who knows me for a much shorter amount of time, maybe a few months. She knows me at least well enough to see when I'm having problems. Well, I suppose since we've been so open with each other, I can't really turn my back on her now. Well, Hannah, I've been, I've been having nightmares. Particularly about Jack since, uh, you know. Yeah, I wondered if it may be something like that. I wish I could help, but uh, as I said before, there's not a lot you can do other than try not to think about it. Which is a horrible thing to say because we should never forget, but... No, you're right. I understand. Mind you, I couldn't help but notice that you've been spending a lot of time with your ex as well. Whoa! 
You don't think that has anything to do with it, do you? Oh my, she's nosy today. Actually, Jennifer and I have been trying to fix things up. At least as friends, anyway. Oh, that's... that's good. Something tells me she does not mean that. Uh, are you sure about that? Yeah, I am. It's, uh, it's great. Great. Just, uh, just be careful. It sounds like she really hurt you before, and I don't want you to turn into an emotional wreck again because of her. <laughs> I appreciate your concern, Hannah, but everything's going fine so far. I know what I'm doing. Great! Uh, but what about you? What do you mean? Well, you're always asking me how I'm doing, but what about you? Well, Jack's death has been hard, but, you know, I'm getting by. I've been chatting to Victor online, and, well, he is as one would expect. Yeah, I was worried about that. But I'm sure he'll pull through. And apart from that, I I'm all good. Just looking forward to Friday when the term ends. Oh man, I totally forgot about that. How the hell do I do? How the hell? How the hell, how the hell did I do that? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it'll be good for everyone to get some time off and get away from the school. I agree. Anyway, I better get going. Thanks for the ketchup. What? I didn't put any ketchup on your hamburger. <laughs> oh, no problem, Hannah. I'll see you tomorrow. No matter how annoying it has been with Hannah constantly trying to get me to talk, finally talking has made me feel easier. It's made me feel better. I guess I'm grateful for Hannah and for her always being there for me and trying so hard. It's nice to have a friend to turn to when things get tough. That's the point where our main character should have an epiphany about what a real friend is like and what Jennifer the Whore is like. I like to call her Horrifer. On the roof. I th uh, you thought you got rid of me? Of course not. I've been having these nightmares every night now. Good, you better get used to it. I'm not going to let this go after all. You did kill me. Would you just give it a rest, please? Why should I? I'm not going to leave you alone. I'll always come to you every single night. No, Jack, you don't mean that. Jack! Jack! Ugh. Oh my god, why won't this stop? Every single night for nearly two weeks. Surely the end is near, right? At least I can hope. Nah, I've got to go. I've got to believe in fairies. It's just, it's hard sometimes to believe in fairies. I want to go wring my own neck. Like me in this game, I just want to be like, don't you see, stupid? You're being stupid and naive and trusting. You're being dumb. You're like, I think people can be good someday. Some people just can't. But before I know it, it's Thursday afternoon. I can't believe it. The uh, It'll be the last day of term tomorrow. The very last day. And in all honesty, it'll be a welcome escape. I mean, night after night of these dreams, getting away from the school has got to help me get over the nightmares, right? Huh? I think somebody knocked on the door. Uh, come in! We have to talk, Paul. Oh, not you again. Did you ever wear different clothes? Shit, man, that was direct. What? Uh, what? I need to talk to you just now. Are you free? Yeah, I guess I am. Okay, come with me. I pick up all my things and put my coat on. Uh, where are we going? You'll see. Well, that wasn't very helpful. I guess all I can do is trust her and just now. Uh, history has shown she is not trustworthy. She's probably going to take us to an orgy where we got to watch her fuck a baseball team. I'm not bitter! She's the only catcher on that team. In the end, Jennifer takes me to a small diner near the school. Are we going to Denny's? Tim Hortons? In Canada. It's nothing fantastic, but I guess it's nice enough. Jennifer goes straight to a table and doesn't order a thing. I feel like I should get something, but she seems to be in a rush, so I just join her. So, what's the problem, Jen? Uh, seriously, what the fuck is up? I, I'm sorry, Paul. What are you talking about? What is she talking about? Seriously, Jennifer, what is it? You're getting me pretty worried now. I can't see you anymore. What? Huh? What do you mean? I, I, I can't spend any more time with you. It's Andrew. We're getting back together and he doesn't want me to see you anymore. 
I... I what? What do I say? I'm not going to stay calm. I am not going to stay calm. In real life, I would stay calm. I'd be like, whatever. But you know what? This isn't real life. I am going to go motherfucking crazy. So that's it. That's it. After all we've been through, this is how it's going to end. I let you back into my life after you lie and fucking cheat on me for some other guy, some other guy who you said you regretted choosing over me. You said you'd rather have me. So I'm like, okay, I'll be your friend. I'll accept your apology. And you're still a fucking whore. And you're about to do this all over again to me? It's not like that. No, then what is it like? It is exactly what you said last time. What about all the years we spent together in Scotland? You know what I think I could do? I think I could tie a basket to your vagina and get a hot air blower or, you know, a hot air dryer and shove hot air in there and your giant balloon would puff up, your giant vagina would puff up like a hot air balloon and I could go across the Saskatchewan and, uh, what is next? Uh, over Winnipeg and over Ontario and to the, um, uh, Newfoundland. I think I could do that. You got a giant whore vagina. Do you not feel any of this, any of that, what you did to me? I, I, I did, but... So why are you going to leave me for some other guy if you still like me? I... Wait, what? Why bother with some guy when you can be with someone who know, you know loves you? You, you love me? Why do you think I wanted to marry you? Why do you think I spent six years of my life with you? Oh my god, you can't be serious. You can't be that stupid. Did God take out your brain and leave an ice cream cone? And if so, can I have that? Because I like ice cream. Why the hell would I stay with you for years on end if I didn't love you? Do you think I didn't know how to get out of our apartment? Help, I'm trapped. I think I'll stay. I don't know how to use a doorknob. You do. You probably put it in your orifices. Why the hell would I let you back into my life knowing how much you hurt me after what you did to me if I didn't love you? I... Oh my god. You're right. You've always been there for me no matter what I've done to you. What? I, what? I can't... What? I can't abandon you again simply because I'm afraid of commitment. I love you. If you love me, then why were you getting back together with Andrew? I... I love you too. Oh god. No. At which point I kissed her for the first time in months. Oh, I shouldn't have gone crazy. I didn't want to get back together with her. She's going to be nothing but heartache. She's going to have 82 kids from like 67 different men before she dies. Right now, I don't care what the future brings. I don't care what that we work in the same place. Hell, I don't even care about those dumb dreams anymore. All that matters is that right now, I have one person back in my life who means more to me than anything else. Probably get syphilis from her now. Andrew probably gave it to her. It's been a few years since that day in the diner, but a lot has changed. Having decided she was no longer afraid of the commitment, Jennifer and I decided to get married! We even had our honeymoon in Scotland. Uh, I caber tossed a caber into a face. Catch tree, bitch. It's strange. I always thought I'd marry Jennifer, but I never imagined that it'd work out like this. But I guess I'm glad it did work out in the end. As for me, I'm the head of the mathematics department of Stillwater Creek now. I'm also still a homeroom teacher, which I really enjoy. Unfortunately, I only managed to stay in contact with Hannah from my old class, but I, I guess these things happen. She seems to be doing as well as one would expect of Hannah in her degree as a computer, uh, in computer science. Despite how much I enjoy meeting with Hannah, however, I don't do it often. Ever since I've gotten over those nightmares of Jack, I try to avoid looking back into the past. Hell, why should I look back so often when Jennifer and I have such a great future ahead of us? Wow. I did not fucking see that ending. We end up back with the lying, cheating whore. I think Jack was right trying to warn us. Nothing good can come of that. I cannot imagine anything good will come of that. Well, that really sucked. I mean, the, the game didn't. The game was a really fun experience. I really liked playing the game. I had a blast with it. But I certainly. You got ending number five. Jennifer's good ending. I don't even know if that was a good ending. We ended up back with the lion whore who's bound to cheat on us again. Still, it was really fun. I am surprised I got that ending, though. I'm, I guess you probably have to get a certain amount of points with the student characters. Maybe you can get one of them. I don't know. 
but I certainly like every time there was a Jennifer thing, I almost always picked the mean thing towards her. I was trying to push her away. I didn't want her. She's a dirty, cheating whore. It's only a matter of time before I find her doing the dirty deed again with dirty people. But at least I guess my character's getting laid a bit, and he's not alone? <laughs> Either way, this game was a blast to play. I have definitely, you probably would have seen in the other videos, there will be a link in the description if you want to play it yourself. There's six other endings. I would even think some of the bad ones, as long as you're not with the person who cheated on you, would probably be better in the grand scheme being healthy for yourself. But either way, this was a blast to play. Um, yeah. I know I'm repeating myself, but I had a hell of a lot of fun with this. Uh, I will see you all in the next LP. Take it easy from Stillwater Creek, Canada.